as uh, SME to uh, install a system on this job site from uh, LNT uh, here in Dubai. We got three cranes, uh, Wolf crane, uh, that will be equipped with ProSight, our anti collision system. And uh, that's pretty much what it's going to look like. That's one crane equipped so far. And there's going to be two more cranes to equip in the next couple of weeks. Uh, and that's what we do with our partner Canoe, uh, Canoe Cranes uh, here in Dubai. So here is the uh, here is the ProSight user interface. So there's one uh, system in, installed on the first crane. On that job site, there will be a free crane um, at the end uh, of the job site. So uh, basically, there's um, there's one crane with on which there's all the sensors installed. Uh, with ProSight, it's on a, on a, any device. Uh, we can access the system through Wi-Fi and uh, thanks to that well, we can set up the system and we can access remotely uh, the data logging and uh, all sorts of information. So just to demonstrate uh, very briefly uh, uh, what the interest of the system, I'm going to pretend that a mobile crane is coming on the job site and that will protect the area and, um, and for, forbid um, the tower crane from going anywhere close to the, to the, to the mobile crane. So, uh, it's, uh, the user interface is, uh, is very simple. There's different items with the property of the job site, the communication, and so on. So I'm just going to go on zone. I'm going to create a new zone, and I'm going to select the circle to be able to create an area where uh, where we want to protect for to pretend that the, uh, the mobile crane is there. I'm just going to save the modification. And thanks to the Wi-Fi. Uh, the modification is transferred uh, instantly to all, the, to all the different systems. So there's only one right there. And what we are seeing here, if you move there, you're seeing what the crane operator display shows. And the crane operator display has shown uh, that the zone is updated and it's got the zone that I just created with the other, uh, with the other interface. So on here, that's what the crane operator would see. It'd be able to see his crane and his surrounding the surrounding crane if there was any other cranes, and that area is uh, is been uh, is been uh, has been created. So now I'm going to try to bypass. Uh, so that area has been. Up. I'm going to bypass. I'm going to put it back on actually because it was bypassed before, and on the system I can see that the area actually now is protected. And I can see the limit of the, of the zone where the, the crane can operate. And same story here on the crane operator display. On the crane operator display, I can show the zone and I can show where the operator is actually working. So we can see that here there's a limit on when it's going to be working. That's it, very, very brief, very easy explanation of the, of the system. And the interest of having the Wi-Fi on the system is to be able to set up this kind of thing very easily and just uh, in a couple of seconds, uh, the system will instantly uh, update and, um, and change compared to uh, um, the configuration of the job site.